Excellent. Let's begin. In a world. <laughs> Check the settings real quick. Wonderful. Good settings. New game. Fuck off. Don't tell me how to live my life. I like the colors. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck the colors. Uh, you were on it, weren't you? Oh, yeah. Let me just Over there. rebalance the sound on the fly. And by rebalance, I mean leave it alone. <laughs> oh. Yeah, she's she's a scary thing. Ooh, ghost. How's that for an entrance? Come on, Joe. Look sharp. The game's starting, and the player needs a good first impression of its main character. I know you served a bunch of tuxedo-clad corkies over the weekend, and the bar will eventually close. And I'll admit, my little prank on you might have gone a bit overboard. But remember, life is 90% how you take it. What's the other 10% for? <laughs> the other 10% is unadulterated horror. <laughs> <laughs> Stay focused and look at the brighter side of things. I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what the brighter side is, but you should probably find it. It doesn't exist. I'm lying to you. <laughs> In any case, you should totally check that parcel you just got. Not a bomb, I swear. Is that the bomb? See ya! <laughs> He stepped up off. <laughs> oh. Just a dream. Mm, there's something near the door. Chapter 1. Primera. It's like Primera, except Primera. Sounds like a delicious food. Mmm, delicious Primera. Your membership to Shining Fingered will automatically <laughs> renew on the 17th. <laughs> what? <laughs> we need at least $800 by then, so... <laughs> no, wait. No, 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 no. What does this membership entail? <laughs> Shining Fingered. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to know. I'm assuming that's our... Uh, mm, I don't know. Maybe that's for our catalog? I don't want to know. Oh, like, Golden Touch, you know? Like, Midas Touch. I kinda get it. The augmented eye. Not the Illuminati, I swear. It's not that one. Mass emig emigration continues as Quincy reveals new economic adjustments by Kimberly La Valette. Or Valette. Is it Valet? Valette? Valette? Valet. Machete? Kimberly Valet Machete. Yeah, Kimberly Machete. <laughs> With inflation rates among the highest in the world, constant shortages of basic groceries and rampant violent crime, glitch city citizens look for a better life in other countries. Quincy, however, is not happy with this. They learn in our schools and universities, the Prime Minister said during a talk with the Augmented Eye, but they apply what they learn somewhere else, and I find it rather insulting. This comes after revealing a new economic measures for the city, which most analysts consider to be useless for the current environment. They don't know shit, concluded Quincy. But they learned from your city. <laughs> but they uh, learned from your city! <laughs> wait a second. Wait I like a minute. I like the slut t-shirt. I bet you would, you dirty slut. <laughs> 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 I just like that there's a t-shirt that says slut hanging up in an apartment next to her panties. <laughs> Wonderlanders are the newest threat to your security. By Kimberly Machete. She's the only writer for this new story. Ever. <laughs> if you thought Alice Rabbit was good at cracking the most complicated security protocols in the world, then this new group will certainly blow your mind. They've yet to make an impact as big as Alice Rabbit, but they seem to be aiming very high with the recent threats issued against Prime Minister Quincy. We hold full access to Quincy's email network and will release the whole database this January, the group declared during a stream. Shallow threats. When questioned, Prime Minister Quincy dismissed all of the group's threats by stating he's not hiding anything and is not afraid of a possible leak of his email history. Maybe everyone will get to see what kind of TV I bought last month. Wild parties! 
The people behind the Wonderland who seem to enjoy dressing in all kinds of rabbit costumes. Costumes. During the stream. Costumes. From Anthro to Bunny Girl, the purpose was to show the love and respect they have for Alice Rabbit and their role in today's politics. We want to follow their example while having some fun. We're not sure if this will go anywhere, but we'll be there to tell you if it does. What if it never does? What the? We all die. Cyborg in Heels returns next year. Not this year, next year. Cyborg in Heels returns next year to the Super Thora Thunderdome by Lana Smithy. A pen name for uh, Kimberly Machet. <laughs> Kimberly Machet. Yeah. The popular show Cyborg in Heels returns to the dome this March with tickets going on sale in January. Cyborg in Heels is a massive stage show about cyborg fighting terrorism while wearing heels. Director Quentin Hader explained Cyborg and Heels' special appeal during an exclusive interview with the Ogden Jedi. What's not to love about it? It's a cyborg wearing heels, cutting stuff. That's literally something we've never seen before. A niche market I'm willing to capitalize on. Okay. I feel like they would make a movie like that now. It's a cyborg. In heels. Cutting stuff. Wait a second, isn't that Metatron? <laughs> no. Maybe. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Good evening. I think I was this guy last time we tried to record this. Do you want me to remain this man? You can be- well, I'm gonna be the boss. And yes. Yeah. I will remain this man. Oh, uh, hey there, Jill. <laughs> oh, hey, John. When will you admit you have a John Faye skill? When you let people call you Jules. Quiet. Are you okay? You look distracted. Where's boss? Dunno. She went up to buy some stuff and, uh... Did you hear what I just told you? You said something? Yes, but you look distracted. Very, very distracted. It's nothing, I'm just thinking about stuff and things. Stuff. What stuff and things? Well, I have to pay rent by the 30th, which is always stressful, and... Uh... There's also the fact that I spent a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. Oh not my god, ghost. Not to mention the fact that two days ago I found out the bar is at risk of closing. So, not only is my life being shaken up, I'm apparently going crazy. On top of that, Neutering 4 left me with a completely empty wallet, and I'll get evicted if I miss rent again. And there's all the beer cans around my apartment, and... Jill... Sorry, did you say something? Can you really work today? Of course I can! Let's go through the basics then, shall we? Just in case. If you can make a piano man, I'll skip the rest, but... Bear with me for a second here, okay? I've forgotten how to play the game, so let's just go through the tutorial again. Play me a song, Piano Man. Let's start with the sugar rush. Look for the re okay. recipe using the navigation bar in the recipe book that will show up on the top left. You can also sort drinks by flavors like sweet or types like manly. Drag the desired amount of ingredients from their cells on the right to the shaker in the center. Gail. When done, press the mix button and then press it again to stop mixing. Gail, shut up. Click the serve button or the drink itself to serve it and that'll be all. Oh, but if the drink looks messed up, you'll need to press the reset button and try again. Gail, stop. Gail! <laughs> you can press reset at any time, even while the shaker is moving. Don't be afraid to use it. Worse than my Gil, aunt. <laughs> I'm the one that went through the formal BTC instruction. Then there should be no problem. Ah! Shut the hell up, Gil. <laughs> Gil wants either a sugar rush or a piano man. If I mess up the ingredients for the drink, I can press the reset button and track it. Sugar rush. Two Adelaide and one Power Delta. Can you work today, Jill? I'm fine. I work with 
depression, anxiety every day. <laughs> <laughs> Just put as much as you can, it's optional. <laughs> Did it. Here, happy now? A little, but not quite. I'm really drunk right now. Let's do one more. Ah! I know, I know. Please humor me for a bit. Some drinks need to be blended. This is done by mixing it for over five seconds. You can tell it's being blended when the music is very, very loud. When the shaker starts moving faster, you also need to check if the drink should be served on the rocks or aged. Check ice and age buttons on the side to select the one you need. And in case it wasn't obvious, on the rocks means you have to toggle the ice tab. It should be noted that the station will add the ice after mixing. It's not something you should mind though, just a fun fact. Whatever, Gil. <laughs> Give me a moon blast and I'll leave you alone. Keep in mind what I said. Yeah, whatever. It's just telling us to make drinks for free. Moon blast. Six. One. Hey! You stop that! <laughs> Delicious! One, two, three, four, five, six. Close. 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 All on the rocks. And blended. It got faster! Did it! Here, did I amuse you for long enough? You did, sorry to hold you. Let's get working. Yeah. Oh yeah, before I forget. What? You can make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients. But if the re recipe already has over 10 ingredients, the drink is already big. Oh, and if a recipe says it uses optional carbotrine, it means you can use none or fill it to the brim. Optional carbotrine doesn't count towards making a big drink, of course. Carbotrine is the alcoholic factor in a drink. It doesn't change the taste, but the amount still has an effect. If you add too much of it, the client will get drunk faster, so please be mindful of that. Are you done with the exposition? No! Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> oh, but <laughs> what? <laughs> who, who is that? I kidnapped her. <laughs> Get her. <Whoa>! her. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I found her on the streets. Just picked her up off the ground. <laughs> found her while I was out shopping. Why bring her here? Cause she's hot. <laughs> Have you seen her? <laughs> She's hot! <laughs> well, it was either leave her outside to get stabbed repeatedly at in the mercy of society's finest. In the face? <laughs> in the face! Or the boobs. <laughs> or bring her unconscious body in here so her boobs may be unharmed. <laughs> She's gonna take make such a ruckus when she wakes up. You know that. That's what I'm planning on! <laughs> I'm strapping her to the pole! Boss! <laughs> <laughs> you can't just kidnap people and force them to be strippers! <laughs> yeah, Cam! Watch me! <laughs> That's up for you to deal with! I'm the boss! <laughs> I'll be in my office! You can't just push that responsibility onto us! We have work to do, damn it! That's what the boss does! <laughs> there are two of you! Believe in yourselves! Believe it! <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Chief knocked her out? Yeah! <laughs> no, that's unlikely. <laughs> Shut up, boss! <laughs> She'd be crowing about it or taunting us if that were the case. And it's not like her to pick on such a small girl. At least, not unprovoked. Yeah, you're right. We'll just need to keep it quiet. She seems to be just sleeping soundly, not comatose. Yeah. Okay then, time to start the night. 
Yes, I'll start working while you go clean the bathroom. Mmm, come again. While well, you spent the whole weekend and Monday doing God knows what to God knows who, we've had some interesting clients come in. Dogs. Lots of them. You're joking. Gil, you've known me for how long now? Do I look like the kind of woman who would make a joke like that? Yes. So, <laughs> as punishment for leaving me to deal with all of that on my lonesome, you'll be in charge of cleaning the bathrooms. Have fun! Just that. Fine, I see no problem. Where's the cleaning stuff? Here. You brought that from home, didn't you? That I did. Fine. <laughs> With that out of the way, let's play some music on the new jukebox. This model needs to have all of its 12 slots filled with songs before it can start. I wonder what was the logic behind that decision. Probably... Space engineers. Uh. <laughs> I really like music. I'll add it into my space engineering. <laughs> You'll have to pick, because I have no idea. Did it! <laughs> <laughs> it's showtime! <laughs> I like it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey you, get me a bear. <laughs> oh, sure, right on it. He wants a beer. He looks like quite the big guy though. Make bear. Big bear. <laughs> One. Double the bear. Two. And two of those. Four of those. Wait, two of the lantern get red, right? Yeah. It's a big man. Beer. It's a big beer. Have it. There you go. Yeah. This one's good. Pretty good. In fact, nice job. Um. Thanks, I guess. You're lucky. I was in a meeting close by. This hellhole could certainly use a presence like mine. My handsome, bald self. <laughs> Look at my handsome, bald self and tell me you wouldn't want me in your fine establishment. <laughs> Mr. Clean, be jealous of my bald, shiny head. <laughs> Mr. Clean can go suck my bald head. What the hell? <laughs> Get out of here! I'm just so shatter. Shatter, shatter. I'm just so shatter, <laughs> Although, to be fair, I am shatter. Work has taken me to worse hell holes. Like New Jersey 3. This is number 2. <laughs> uh. What kind of work do you do, mister? I kill people. I mean. You're talking to Donovan D. Dodson. Triple D for short. <laughs> Chief editor and owner of the Augmented Eye. That thing with only one writer? Are you, are you the <laughs> Are you the Are you Kimberly? <laughs> are you Kimberly Machete? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Machete, I love your work! No! <laughs> <laughs> nope. Stop. <laughs> no one must ever know. <laughs> Puts on a wig, turns around. Yes, I'm Kimberly Machete. <laughs> I'm glad someone finally saw it. <laughs> Nothing gets published there without my blessing. The day started with quite the interesting fellow, it seems. So you're the one to blame for the barrage of daily articles on Alice Rabbit, then. Hey, people love those articles. They love reading about that urban legend. Can you blame them? The idea of some wild card hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's. That's the kind of corny shit that brings the clicks. I like that. <laughs> Is that your motto? Augmented <laughs> Eye. The kind of corny shit that brings the clicks. 
<laughs> for all kinds of people. And clicks bring money, and money brings nice stuff. Like ladies. <laughs> stuff, stuff like, like hair implants. <laughs> stuff like <laughs> bald wax. <laughs> <laughs> And houses and plastic surgery for the missus and kids. Well, kids are ugly. <laughs> I'm not complaining about the fact you write about the hacker, just that you write about them every single day. Some of it isn't even news, just speculations or copycats. I can't read your newspaper's daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> 